Hey, everybody, this is TJR. Uh, came across some interesting Beatles news today and came across it from a source that I did not expect to find it. Uh, found this story on comicbook.com of all places. Uh, I know I'm into comics, but this is a website that I've never, ever visited before. Only found it because of the Beatles connection. But um, let me go ahead and just share the following. Uh, a few days ago, Peter Jackson confirmed that he would love to give the world an extended cut of Get Back, his almost eight-hour docuseries uh, chronicling the Beatles, recording what will eventually become the album Let It Be. But apparently, both Apple and Disney will not let him do it, or at least they haven't given him the go-ahead as of yet. Now, let me read from the article here. Speaking on the business podcast via theplaylist.com, Jackson corrected host Kim Masters when she commented that Jackson was working on an expanded version of the series. Apparently, he told the host that there isn't going to be an extended cut, but that he is fighting to get one. I'm going to quote here. Disney and Apple are reluctant because they say, and they might be quite right, that there's no market anymore for extended cuts. But I know that there's five or six hours of fantastic material that we didn't include. And I don't want it to go back to the vaults for 50 years. So let's just say that it's a conversation that's happening, but it's not necessarily a definitive one at this point. The article goes on to state that Disney isn't exactly known for being big on extended or director's cuts to their properties. I should stop and interject here that this is not a Disney property, but I'll continue with the article here. But the flip side of that is that the Beatles is arguably one of the most significant musical acts in contemporary history. There could potentially be a market for such a release, just given the enduring status of the band. The one does have to wonder what new insights could be gleaned from an additional six hours of recordings. Now, as for myself, I think that when we first got news that we were going to get a six hour cut that actually ended up being closer to eight, I think there was some skepticism as to how interesting that could be. The answer ended up being very interesting, compelling, and wonderfully entertaining. Now, remember that Peter Jackson had to work his way through 56 hours of footage shot by Michael Lindsay Hogg for Let It Be. If anyone should be burned out on this footage, it should be Peter Jackson. So if he says there is roughly five to six hours of great footage, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt that this additional footage is worth seeing and not just a scraping of the bottom of the barrel. Also remember that even if you add an additional five to six hours to the existing runtime of Get Back, it's still just a small part of the overall footage that was actually shot. Now, I'm very satisfied with the cut we got, but here's hoping that he can convince both parties, Apple and Disney Plus, to let him assemble that longer cut. This footage brought this band closer to what it would have been like to be in the same room with the Fab Four than I could have ever imagined possible. It also gave me tremendous insight into their creative process. But those are my thoughts. Please let me know what yours are. Would you want to see this longer cut? Please leave a comment. As always, if you like what I do here, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Right now, I want to thank my fierce and mighty patron supporters who are helping me make more videos. If you'd like to be a patron supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash TJR the original. Patron supporters receive exclusive weekly videos not available here on the channel and advanced look at videos before they reach the channel. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all stay safe and healthy. See you in the next video. Bye.